Alrighty, so I've confirmed that this is my correct patient and confirmed the physician's orders um, to get an ABG. I've introduced myself, so I'm just going to come in, wash my hands, put my gloves on, and I'm going to perform an Allen's test just to make sure that this patient has enough circulation that if I do any damage to the artery, um, their hand will get enough blood to it anyways. Um, so I have gathered my equipment here. Oops, that's from last time. So I've gathered my equipment here. Alrighty, and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna grab my alcohol wipe, clean off the area. I'll be puncturing, clean off my fingertips. And I've explained to this patient why we are drawing from an artery instead of a vein and also to expect a poke and then um, some pressure. So I've cleaned the area. I'm going to go ahead and get my gauze ready, lay that there, and then palpate and find the artery. So once I find the artery, I'm going to slowly insert the needle at a 45 degree angle, holding it like a pencil, and then with the bevel side up. So I'm going to slowly insert that. And this was drawn back to the um, amount of blood that we want from this patient. So once that fills up, I'm going to grab the gauze, apply pressure, and then slowly pull this back out. And while I'm pulling, um, holding pressure, I'm going to stick my needle and cork it in here. Um, I'm not going to do that now because it will get stuck. But, um, I'm just going to apply pressure for the amount of time um, that is correct for this patient, around three to five minutes. And then we would apply a Band-Aid. So um, assuming that would be stuck in the cork. I would have my sample, I would just put the lid on it, and then I would label it accordingly with all the information it needs, and then put it in the biohazard bag and send it to the lab. Thank you.